Hey everybody, it's Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. So glad you guys could join me for a new simple stamping video. Hey, we're going to be using a new stamp set and a new bundle right now. It's called Above the Clouds. Guys, a fantastic stamp set and matching punch. What's not to love about hot air balloons? They're beautiful, right? Guys, this card is actually a flash card. We'll be creating this one, and this is an easy, easy one to create. But you guys know, here at Simple Stamping, I always like to show you a little stepped up version. This one here, we're going to be adding um, a little bit of Stampin' Blends to give that balloon a little more dimension. So stay tuned to the end to see my stepped up version, but either way, I say we get started creating with our Above the Clouds bundle. All right, my friends, let me go over the card stock you need for today's flash card. Uh, we're going to begin with a piece of Whisper White Thick card stock. I have that cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter inches. My flash card pieces are in Whisper White and Coastal Cabana. Whisper White is cut two and a half by four inches. Coastal Cabana, two and three quarters of an inch by four and a quarter inch. The star of the show today is the brand new Above the Clouds bundle. Guys, you get the stamp set and the punch. Now you can buy them separately, but when you buy them together, you save 10%. And we love that. Guys, a fantastic card. I love that we have images and we have some great sentiments as well. And I'll be using two ink pads today, Coastal Cabana and Pineapple Punch. I thought they were very bright, summery, a really great color combination for today's card. Before we get started, we need to do a little cutting to our flashcards. We're going to start with that Coastal Cabana, and I'm going to have you cut that down to one and a quarter inch. Then on that Whisper White, I'm going to have you cut half an inch off of the end, of, off of a long end. We're going to use that as our flag. And now we're gonna use our punch in a little creative way. Guys, we have a little triangle here. It's actually meant to be uh, like a little flag banner, but I want you to see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put um, my cardstock right in there. Can you see? I'm just kind of lining it up. And yes, I'm leaving a little uh, space. I think you can see it there. I'm doing that because that's helping me see that I'm lining it up straight. And then I can give it a little punch. And look at that, I now have a great little flag for my banner. Now, I am gonna tell you, it could happen, this will be crooked. Use the other side, we're not going to need all of this, so if you didn't quite get it straight, we can come in, we can give it another punch. We get two shots at this one. I want to give this card stock some texture, and let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the thin tip of my stylus tool, and I've got my Simply Scored board here. I'm going to score this at every half inch. So half inch, one inch. I'm sorry, I meant every quarter of an inch, forgive me. So uh, there's three quarters and then one inch. All right, now I'm going to flip it over and now I'm going to do um, the eighth inches, okay? So we're just gonna go in between. So I'm not gonna make you measure all that, but you're just gonna score on the opposite side. And you see, we really get this nice little, um, accordion look it just gives some nice texture I hope you can see that I think it just gives it a little something all right let's get to stamping I've got my coastal cabana ink pad and I have the sentiment you're off to great places now remember I did punch my banner twice but what we want to do is we want to stamp our sentiment all the way to the right there by a banner all right let me set that off to the side because now I'm ready to stamp on my card base I'm going to take the outline of the balloons, and I'll show you what I mean by outline because this is a two-step stamp set, so we'll be able to stamp inside. We'll stamp our balloons, and here's the two steps. So I have this one, but what I wanna do is I wanna stamp off first. I wanna get some of that ink off of there. It's gonna make it a little bit lighter, and now I wanna stamp inside. And you can see what a nice light image. Let's repeat that here on our other balloons. And my other sentiment, let your dreams soar. We'll stamp that down here in the right-hand corner. Did you notice my little boo-boo? Yeah, it happens. It's a good thing it's gonna be covered up. I'm not even worried about it. I'm now going to come in with Pineapple Punch. I'm gonna finish up my card. I've got a little heart that comes in this stamp set. And I'm just gonna make these hearts soar. So I'm just going to kind of let them float upwards, about four. Uh, remember, all of this will be covered up, so four should do me. 
time to stamp our big balloon. We'll stamp this down here at the bottom of our remaining piece of Whisper White, and I'll do that in Pineapple Punch. And remember that technique where I just uh, stamped off? Let's ink that up in Pineapple Punch. Stamp off, we wanna get a lot of that ink off, and now we can stamp directly on top of our hot air balloon. And this is what I love about two-step stamping. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. The punch also has a punch for the basket for the hot air balloon. And let me show you, we're gonna do the exact same method, but let me show you where to stamp this. I wanna stamp this here in the corner. You notice the front of the basket or the opening is going to be to the right. That's kind of important when it's going to uh, come time to punch. The inside of the basket, we stamp off and stamp inside. Now we're going to bring in that punch. So first we'll get our hot air balloon. Uh, this is why I love to hold my punches upside down. I can line things up perfectly before I give that a punch. And now for that little basket, you're going to see why I had you stamp it the way I had you stamp it because it needs to sit right inside there. Let's give this a punch. All right, let's put our card together. So what I want to do is I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of adhesive right here on the end of this balloon so that I can add that basket. Now, and we'll use a mini dimensional down there because we don't want it to, to overhang. I'm gonna take a few more dimensionals here on my balloon. Oh, before I do that, my goodness, I'm just getting ahead of myself. I want to go ahead and attach my balloon to uh, my cardstock. You can see it's gonna go right here. Now, if this is a little long, you can always cut it a little bit shorter, but I do wanna just attach that right here at the back. And you can see, I'm just gonna add that at a little bit of an angle. All right, now we're gonna finish up with those dimensionals. So sorry about that, guys. Let's add just a couple more here. And I'm actually gonna go all the way down my, um, Coastal Cabana piece that we have right here. While I'm peeling off these backings, I have to tell you what just happened. Um, I'm in the flight path of an Air Force base and the Blue Angels are practicing right over my house. It's getting very loud in the stamp room today, guys. So if you hear a little rumble in the background, you're gonna know why. <laughs> All right, we're gonna attach our balloon and our wonderful little embossed uh, piece here. Now to add the sentiment, you can see I cut it short and this is actually just going to tuck underneath. So you can see I need to cut off a little bit more and that looks about right. So now I'm gonna add just a little bit of snail here to my sentiment. Let's tuck that underneath and I want it to kind of hang off of there. There we go. So a very simple, quick, all we needed were two ink pads and the Above the Clouds bundle. Now, if you wanna step it up a notch, I'm gonna show you a fun way that I created this card and I use the Stampin' Blends. Now, because I'm using Stampin' Blends, I can't stamp directly on my card. It's going to bleed through. So, I have myself a piece of Whisper White cardstock for by five and a quarter. You can see that'll layer right there. Now I've already done the stamping. Let me show you how we're gonna do the blends. I'll be using the pineapple punch combo and the pool party combo. I'm going to start with the dark. And what I want to do is I'm just gonna come in with this dark. Don't you love that Stampin' Up's kind of got all these great lines already on here. You see, I'm just coming underneath the design that's already on the balloons. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna come in with the light and I'm gonna use the brush tip and I'm just gonna start to blend and that's gonna give me that really great highlight. Do you see that? So pretty. We'll do that to all six balloons and on the large balloon, we're just gonna come in with the dark and I've got the brush tip again and I'm just kind of going right over, really, just kind of adding some highlight, just like that. Remember, each time you use it, you want to cap off your Stampin' Blends because that is alcohol, alcohol dries out. Now I'll come in with the light and you can see how I can just blend the light and dark together. And again, just like before, it's gonna give me this really beautiful shading on that balloon. Just a very different look from the two-step that comes in the set. We won't forget our little basket. 
And for fun, I decided to go ahead and use an embossing folder um, on my one and a quarter inch strip of Coastal Cabana. I ran that through, uh, ran that through the uh, corrugated embossing folder. Very pretty, just gives it a little bit different look. And of course it's much faster um, than using the Simply Scored board. But I wanted you to see just another option you have. And there is my finished card put together in the exact same way. I'll bring in my original. So like I said, it's just kind of a nice way that if you need something very simple, one little bundle and you're all set. But if you like to step things up a little bit, you like to play with your blends, maybe add a little bit more texture, things like that, you've got some options. There you go. Two really fun cards. I think either way is a perfect way to go. I really, the simple one is very simple and I think it just works beautifully. Now, if you'd like more information about today's cards, here's what you can do. Head over to simplysimplestamping.com. Look for the June 15th, 2019 blog post. I'll have all the details there so you can grab those measurements if you missed them because there is that little bit of cutting in there, right? Uh, you can grab that. And hey, if you'd like to order maybe the Above the Clouds bundle or get some of those stampin' blends, you can order right there at simplysimplestamping.com. It's so easy. Click a pick. That's all you need to do. It'll take you right to my online store and you can order straight from there. Guys, I would be so thrilled to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Now, real quick, I do want to mention that if you love the idea of flashcards, but you're not really crazy about doing all that cutting, there's also flashcards to go. Guys, this is a fantastic way to get all of your card stock cut. Your card bases will be scored. You're going to get the flashcard and flashcard 2.0 pieces plus envelopes. What good are the cards if you don't have an envelope to mail it in, right? Everything you need to create 40 cards. And you can order your flashcards to go at simplysimplestamping.com. Just look in the blue menu bar for flashcards to go. Thank you again, everyone, for being here today. I sure do appreciate it. Hey, if you like today's flashcards, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube. I always appreciate that. And if you haven't already taken the time to subscribe, do me a favor. Click that great big red subscribe button. YouTube's going to let you know whenever I'm back with a new video. And I want you here. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Make it a fabulous day. Go create something awesome. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.